Okay, welcome everybody. Um, earlier we learned about uh, single variable trend, uh, optimization and that means that we can uh, that we need to uh, adjust one parameter in our system to realize uh, another. Um, in the next coming of days we will focus on the multivariable optimization and that means we have a more complex system where we can adjust several parameters in an optimal way to realize a uh, desired uh, parameter. The teaching example that is most often used in Lead Six Sigma uh, training for that purpose is a uh, catapult, like uh, the one I have uh, here. Um, so uh, uh, this catapult uh, can be used to shoot a ball, for example, uh, over uh, two meters of distance, and we can realize that with a uh, fast moving ball with a high curve or a uh, slower moving ball over a, for example, uh, uh, shallower curve. What we need to find out in the next coming days is what is the mathematics to find the optimal settings for a catapult like this to uh, realize a desired parameter. This uh, problem occurs a lot of times in a lot of factories and a lot of uh, different technical systems and uh, we will use a uh, catapult to uh, try to get a crisp grasp of that problem. We will not use uh, uh, a wooden catapult uh, like this, but uh, we will uh, realize our own catapult today. So our goal of today is uh, design and build a precision uh, catapult, which is able to shoot balls between three and five grams, so that is the products that we realized yesterday. Over a distance between 1 meter and 2.5 meters, the catapult is easily adjustable. We have at least two discrete and one continuous parameters. For our teaching example here, we have a uh, discrete parameter like this, where the uh, uh, rubber band is fixed. Another one is where the cup is fixed. And we have here the continuous parameter. How can, what is the angle at which the arm is pulled back? The catapult that we will build today uses as little material as possible. We need to uh, divide our, all our materials over the teams evenly. The maximum size is 0.4 by 0.4 by 0.4 meters. And, uh, the best catapult today is the one that achieves the best precision. Okay? So when we want to, uh, when we want to uh, uh, realize a construction like this, we first need to think about the degrees of freedom. So we want uh, to uh, move the ball along a desired trajectory, and that means that we fix its um, degrees of freedom. How many de degrees of freedom we have? We can expand that by using just a simple uh, box. So we have uh, three translations for this box. One in this direction, one in this direction, and one in this direction. So that's three translations. And then we also have three rotations. One, two, and three. So think about it. Every time that you mount something or fix something, you always have to think about these six degrees of uh, freedom. For a car, for a car it looks like this. We have uh, the uh, transversal uh, movement, acceleration and braking. We have steering. We have bumping up and down. And then we have the three rotations. First of all, jaw, pitch, and rolling. So for our catapult, uh, for our catapult we want to only use our creativity when we have found and stole the best ideas out there. So what we always do in problems like this is we, we start with the benchmarking, stealing other people's best ideas. So the first catapult that we can steal ideas from I just showed you the teaching example and then we have uh, bought four different uh, types of uh, catapults um, and 
for your design, you can steal the best ideas of these catapults. So how do we want to analyze these catapults? Yeah, first we use our function model. So we make a function model of our catapult. What are the different functions? And then we look at how these functions are fulfilled with our benchmark products. And then we have an idea of what the best catapult could look like. Okay. So we make our, uh, our function model and we start with the fixation of the ball. So fixation of the ball, the ball is uh, rotation symmetrical. So we only need to fix the three translations. What you see here is uh, the ball with, for example, a uh, three point uh, fixture. Um, that, that could be the best uh, solution. So the first function is uh, fixation of the ball. The next is that we need to move to fix the trajectory of the ball over a, uh, over a line. And what we use in a catapult is an arm with a uh, pivot point, a hinge. So that's our second, second function. Third function, when we have fix the ball to move along a tra tra trajectory, then we need to apply force to accelerate it along that trajectory. And uh, with a catapult, we use elastic potential energy to do it. That's our third function. Fourth function is we need to release the ball. And we do this by deceleration of the arm. Fourth function. Fifth function, we have a lot of energy now in our arm, and we need to dampen that, or else our catapult will destroy itself, or it will deform and shoot every time in a different way. So we need to absorb our kinetic energy by some dampening material. That's the fifth function. We arrive at our last function, and that is that we need some framework to uh, fix the position of the catapult. And we want to do it by uh, not to uh, over-determinate, determine or fix our catapult, but we want to fix every degree of freedom exactly one time. I want you to think about a table, a table on the four legs. If not all legs are uh, exactly the same uh, length, it can, uh, it can still uh, move. And a table on three legs, that's the stable solution. So that's not over-determined. But exactly right, and we want to use as we want to have as little play as possible in our frame. So that's the sixth function. We now have a function model of six different functions. Here we have our overview, and now we can use this overview to analyze our benchmark products. We go uh, in the back there from uh, from uh, right to left, but we will start with the uh, teaching example I showed you earlier, the wooden catapult. And uh, the fixation uh, of the uh, ball position, it, it, it's a cup and uh, a, uh, it's an easily adjustable cup on, on this arm. Uh, the trajectory of the ball is, is a hinge with two uh, wooden holes. The wooden holes are uh, quite uh, close uh, uh, to each other and we have a heavy wooden arm. The uh, force used to uh, uh, accelerate uh, the ball is a uh, rubber band. Released ball is the uh, heavy wooden arm is uh, uh, stopped by a uh, metal pin. The uh, kinetic energy is absorbed by, I can show you here, a uh, plastic, or a, a small uh, rubber rectangle here. And uh, uh, the frame, we have a, uh, uh, a wooden base with our, uh, with our uh, pivot point just uh, above the table, very low. So we go to our next uh, benchmark product. Yeah. First we look at the, uh, the, um, the uh, strong points. And the strong points in this uh, design are obviously that it's very easily adjustable. With two discrete and one continuous parameter. 
Then we have the so-called uh, export. You can see it here. Um, uh, you're able to read faster than I can talk, so you can uh, you can look at uh, how these uh, this catapult solves our uh, functions. Um, the strong point of this I want to uh, draw your attention to is the uh, alloy lightweight arm, and that's this. And uh, um, you have to use something like that uh, with the other materials uh, that we have. Um, if you would try to make a, a more heavy arm, you just uh, destroy our materials. So uh, please use uh, the same type of lightweight arm as this export uses. Then we have the uh, Da Vinci uh, catapult. Again, uh, you see all the solutions here. And I want to draw your attention to the strong points, and that is in uh, uh, different than the two previous uh, examples that we saw, is that the uh, two um, uh, hinge points are, have a, a bigger distance to each other. That means that the arm is much less able to uh, rotate. And if the arm is much less able to rotate, then uh, we're sure that the uh, ball is not uh, in a, has, has not a lot of error uh, sideways. A big strong point in the Da Vinci uh, catapult. Another strong point, which we also uh, 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 want to draw your attention to, is that the arm is uh, uh, um, decelerated on a uh, phone block, phone block which has uh, the same uh, angle as the position of the arm. Then we have here a, another example, it's uh, from a game called uh, Catapult Wars and uh, the uh, strong point here is a very simple uh, wooden frame and with a pivot point also above the table which means that we can make, that we can make uh, nice steep curves um, which is not possible with the very first uh, Catapult that I uh, demonstrated to you where the pivot point is very low on the table. Here you see the pivot points. The uh, last uh, example that uh, I want to show you is the uh, is an electrified uh, catapult throwing uh, these kinds of balls for uh, a sporting practice. And uh, the strong points are the three point support for the ball. So of all the examples, this one is the only one that uh, does that three-point support, and uh, you can see it here. So the ball rests on three discrete points, very smart. Next one is uh, it uses ball bearings instead of just uh, wood wood or metal metal or metal wood contact. There's real uh, ball bearings and uh, they're uh, inside uh, here. And uh, the last one is uh, this is the only catapult that uses metal springs instead of rubber bands or in the Da Vinci case, uh, the deformation of the uh, wooden uh, spring bars. Here you see the spring in the catapult. Okay, now we have looked at the uh, solutions of the different uh, benchmark products. We can uh, bring them all together in our uh, so-called uh, morphological uh, map. And uh, that is what you see uh, here. On the left side, you see the different uh, functions and on the right side all the solutions that we have seen and now we can draw in the solution that was chosen for the very first teaching example called the Statapult and that looks like uh, this. The next one is for the Expult and one for the Da Vinci Catapult, Catapult Wars and the Blue Catapult. And what we can also do now is just think about from our engineering judgment um, which of the, all these solutions will give us most probably the best possible precision catapult. If we do that, we might arrive at these best solutions. So the fixation of the ball, uh, easy to adjust with three-point support. The fixed trajectory of the ball, the alloy lightweight arm, uh, with uh, two holes, two hinges, uh, far from uh, each other using ball bearings. How to apply the force? 
obviously not a rubber band, well, but a uh, spring. Release uh, of the ball, easy to adjust. The absorption of the uh, kinetic energy of the arm, a uh, foam block, the bigger the better, uh, with a large compact surface. So, fixation of the cutter build, a simple base with a pivot point above the table. So, that might be uh, our uh, wish list, like a Chinese menu for our best possible uh, cutter build. Uh, some assembly guidelines. Please uh, only draw hill, uh, only drill holes and saw in uh, the PVC uh, material. That's the uh, gray plastic material that we have. Don't uh, drill or saw in the uh, black POM materials that you will find. Um, don't uh, 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 draw your uh, bolts into the aluminium profiles, as you can see in the picture. Use countersunk heads only with countersunk uh, holes. Uh, be economical with all materials, also the ruler stickers. And then I want to show you two uh, um, design examples uh, that you might uh, find useful. First of all, how to uh, attach the uh, lightweight uh, U profiles that you uh, will use for your uh, catapult arms. You can uh, uh, attach them to the Bosch profiles as shown in the picture. So you just uh, use two uh, corner elements and uh, four sets of nut and nuts and bolts. Next example, how to uh, fix uh, the, uh, uh, how to use the uh, uh, roller, uh, the uh, roller bearings. Um, what you see uh, here is a uh, Bosch profile, um, Allen screws, three sets, uh, two uh, shins, the ball bearing, and uh, the palm strips, black palm strips that you uh, can find, and uh, uh, two sets of sliding nuts. And then you can uh, realize uh, uh, something like this. So the ball bearing is here. So uh, what you fixate with this is uh, two translations, this one and this one. And uh, what you also fix is the translation in this direction. But not in that direction, so you might want to use the same thing as here on the other side to also fix that. Then you also fixate this rotation and this rotation, but not this. And that it might be exactly what you want to have your uh, rotation of your arm. Okay, that's it. Uh, have fun today, and uh, at the end of the day, I'm, uh, we will have a contest. A contest, uh, which catapult of you is able to shoot with the best precision? So we will shoot like uh, ten balls, and we will see what the catapult is for which those balls are as close together as possible. Have fun. Thank you very much.